Hey guys, David47295 here. This is just the other half of the gameplay. I was uh, using the UMP45, and then I think I switched over to the 870 MCS. But I'm not really sure if I'm gonna actually make the commentary that long. I have uh, 10 minutes of footage, so maybe I'll cut that into half again. So maybe you'll just see me playing around the uh, UMP, and then maybe you'll see me. Um, I'll, it'll end when I begin the switch to the 870, but whatever. Um, I want to talk about something that happened a few days ago. A few days ago, my family wanted to go out to Niagara Falls. My brother, my mom, my dad, and um, my dad's cousin who came from Hong Kong. And um, when we were getting into the car, um, I, I went, got into the side where um, it's close to where, to like the, um, it's closer. Like you just walk out, open the door, hop in, and then close it. You don't have to walk around the car or anything like that. And then. Um, my brother comes out, and then he opens um, my door, and then expects me to move over. Move over. So I'm kind of annoyed. So then I just move, and then he he sees my face, and like, cause obviously I'm annoyed because why can't you just go around and then just open the door? And then he he tells me, hey, I'm gonna need more energy than you since I'll be out the whole day. And then that just real that just struck me. Like, how hard is it to go around, like, walk a few, like, one or two more meters, then just pull the handle, because, um, my car has, um, uh, like, the passenger doors, one of them is, um, mechanical, one of them is manual, so the other side is, like, um, you pull the handle, the door automatically opens for you, then you push a button on the inside and it closes, the other one's manual, you have to, like, drag it open and uh, slam it shut, and... I really could didn't see like how it was so hard to just walk a little like two, one or two meters more, pull a handle, get inside, push a button, and then you don't have to drag the door um closed. You it just <clears throat> it just closes for you, and it just really struck me because I don't know lately I've uh, I've kind of been developing an annoyance for uh, like lazy people because I I even remember back when I was um, in grade eight. I was in French class, and my friends, um, they were my partners for the, um, for the project, but they didn't take French seriously, so I always told them and reminded them to, you know, because um, we had to make, like, a news story, and it has to be them in French, so I just did mine, and, um, my, and then my friends, I kept on reminding them, like, uh, back then, I didn't really care that much about French too, but since this was a big project, I thought, like, how I might as well do it. And then, um, they always keep on forgetting. It's like, oh, it's no big deal. We're going to fail French anyways. And then, I don't know. It just, my French mark got pulled down even more because of them. So, it was kind of annoying. Um, but then, uh, this year in grade 9, I redeemed myself. I got, um, I think my French was the highest mark. It was, uh, 85. And then the rest were like A twos and stuff. They were they were very close, but that just I just really don't like lazy people. They like I don't actually I don't mind if people are lazy like by themselves. But if it try if it like affects me, then I'm gonna be annoyed because um, I don't want to be pulled down by someone's laziness and then and then I have to I have to get punished along with them because uh, I don't know for some inane reason. Uh, anyways, this is Dave Force 295 Just a short little commentary because um, I don't know, kind of felt like it. Anyways, bye.